I'm author E.C. Stilson, and I'm going to show you today how to do the smoky eye look. So, all right, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab your base. I'm using the liquid base because it's easier to smear with what we're going to do, and I've just been getting most of my makeup from Clinique. So this is my liquid base. And the nice thing with Clinique, I'm sure that everybody knows this, but you can actually go to the mall and a Clinique representative will go ahead and get your skin color and everything that you need to know about your, your skin there. So, Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is take my eyeshadow and I'm using the Clinique, um, it's called Totally Neutral number 4 and it has the three different shades. It has the tan, the medium brown, and then the dark brown. And I'm just going to use the brush of that to do all around my eye, basically. And one of the main parts I want to get is the center right here. So you can see where I'm doing this. I really want to get that area light because that's going to be important later. If you look at my other eye, you can see that that's still white. So I didn't... I didn't make that dark at all. Okay, so I've got that. Now I'm going to take the medium colored one. And you don't have to use Clinique for any of this, but I've just been really happy with their product. And you're going to take this and go in the corner of your eye, the middle part. The middle corner. Okay, I'm going to do some more of that right there. Next thing I'm going to do is take the dark brown. And I'm going to put this in my crease, the outside of my eye. I want to make sure I get that pretty dark because my other eye is really dark. And if you see, the center is still that light color. I might end up using some more of that in a minute here. But I'm going to take this and just blend it. Okay, now the most important part of doing these smoky eyes for me, other than the eyeshadow, is to make sure that I get a real nice thick coat of this eyeliner on. I'm using just a black eyeliner, the liquid kind, and just a little brush, you can see. You want to get this on really thick. I'm going to bring it into the corner here. Bring it out. And then I'm even going to put it up here too. How are you doing, Ruby? Good. I've got my beautiful daughter doing the videotaping for this. She's such a sweetheart to do this. And she's gotten so good at doing her makeup too. We've been having fun thinking of different ideas together. Okay, so make sure I've got that dark enough. Okay, once you get that done, then you're gonna take your fake eyelashes. And I am terrible with these, so let's see if I can do this. You're gonna take your fake eyelashes, put your glue on. Ruby, would you ever want to wear fake eyelashes? Oh, no. We should do a video where I'm doing your makeup. That would be fun, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I've got that on there. And I am terrible with these, but I like to go from the center out. And just push that on in. And this glue will dry clear. I'm just going to get that on there and wait for a minute and that will dry clear like I said and while I'm waiting for that to dry I will go ahead and work on the bottom part again just really thicken that up make sure it's everywhere I want it to be especially up here. Still waiting for that to dry. Okay, 
looks like it's starting to dry. I'm using two different kinds of mascaras and the reason is I found this one's really thick and it goes on easily and really darkens up your lashes. It's the Maybelline Colossal Volume. And then after I use that, I use CoverGirl Lash Blast because it really separates out the lashes. So you get the nice dark look and then you separate them. And I always put mascara on my eyelashes after I put the fake lashes on because I really want them to look natural. It also helps curl them in some cases and it puts your eyelashes together, your natural ones and your fake eyelashes. So I'm going to do this and you can see how I've done this on the other eye. So this goes on really thick like I'm saying. And I'm just using the really natural fake eyelashes when you go. I mean, I just found these from the grocery store. They just say natural on the label. And if you get some of the other ones, they can kind of look <laughs> not as great. Um, I know I got some one time that are just crazy, crazy huge. And I know a lot of people when they're doing this smoky look, they'll actually get the the eyelashes that are supposed to go on the top and they will put those on the bottom as well because it it makes your eye look a lot bigger when you do that so all right i've got that on and i'm just doing this to curl those up again and i am going to just one more time put on my eyeshadow just to touch that up and then we should have the smoky eye look done. As soon as I smear the bottom eyeliner up. Okay, so we've got that. Let me do this one more time. Really quick. Just to touch it up here. Got that. Got that. And then doing the dark in the corner right there. That's another thing a lot of people do with these fake eyelashes is they'll put the dark eyeshadow over it. And then the last thing that I do is just smear this up. And that's what the base was for at the very beginning. Just so you can smear this up. Anyways, you have the dark look, the smoky eyes done. I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, you'll have a great day. Thanks for watching.